and uh, want to first begin by saying that the president made a very courageous decision yesterday in behalf of America. He put America's interests first with respect to environmental agreements and inter international discussions. Uh, I really appreciate his fortitude. I really appreciate uh, his leadership in this matter. The discussion over the last several weeks has been one of a thoughtful deliberation. Uh, he heard many voices, voices across a wide spectrum of uh, vantage points, and the president made a very informed and I think thoughtful and important decision for the country's benefit. You know, what we have to remember when it comes to environmental agreements and international agreements with respect to things like the Paris Agreement is we have nothing to be apologetic about as a country. We have reduced our CO2 footprint to levels of the early 1990s. In fact, from 2000 to 2014, we reduced our carbon footprint by up over 18 uh, percent. And that's been largely accomplished through innovation and technology, not government mandate. So when we look at issues like this, we are leading with action and not words. I also want to say that exiting Paris does not mean disengagement. In fact, the president said yesterday that Paris represents a bad deal for this country. It doesn't mean that we're not going to continue the discussion to export our innovation, to export our technology to the rest of the world, to demonstrate how we do it better here is, uh, I think, a very important message to send. He indicated that he's going to either re-enter Paris or engage in a discussion around a new deal with a commitment to putting America first. The president has said routinely he's going to put the interest of American citizens at the head of this, of this administration. That's in trade policy, that's in national security, that's in border security, that's in right-sizing Washington, D.C., and he did that with respect to his decision yesterday on Paris.